Thank you for choosing Yoga with Pretty Zen. We're going to start today's practice sitting centered on our mats. We're going to start by finding our breath. Place your hands gently on your knees and focus on the breath. Finding a comfortable position for your body. Sit on your mat and focus on stillness. Gently allow your eyes to close. As you breathe in and out. Thankful for your body. Thanking yourself for finding the time and devoting yourself to something good. Bringing awareness to your abdomen. Release the muscles and see if you can feel the natural rising and falling. Imagine the body is breathing itself from your navel to your obliques. Notice the movement within each breath. Now let's take a few more breaths like this. Moving our awareness to our chest as we inhale and exhale. Feeling the contraction and movement. Follow the breath, bringing attention to your nostrils. The breath may feel more subtle here. Try taking in one more deep breath. See what's present for you. As you breathe in and breathe out, focusing on your body, your mind, your spirit, and your practice. When you're ready, bring your hands in front of you at heart center as we express gratitude. Inhale and lift your hands up to the sky, giving yourself a seated overhead stretch. Inhale, big, and lean over to the right and give yourself a side stretch. Remembering to honor the breath. You can go inhale and lift back up to center. Exhale, inhale the other arm up and lean over to your left. Remembering to breathe. As you exhale, you can go deeper into the stretch as long as it feels good to you. Take both arms, put them on your knees and give your shoulders a round stretch by just circling them whichever way feels right to you. And go ahead and rotate your neck around to the left. And slowly, as you waken up your neck muscles, and stop and go the other way to the right. Again, waking up those neck muscles. Now, take your right hand 
and put it by your left ear and give yourself a gentle neck stretch. Release and do the other side. You can hold it for a few breaths and then release. Now take your right arm and move it slowly across your body and use your left arm as support as you give yourself a stretch. You should feel it in your shoulders. Remember to breathe and then release. And we'll do it on the opposite side. Take your left arm out, extend your left hand and reach it over your body. Use your right arm to support as you stretch your shoulders and breathe. You feel, should feel it nice in your shoulders. Now we're going to we're going to extend our right leg out as we do our seated head to knee pose. I'm not sure exactly why I'm looking around here, but your head should be down, trying to reach the knee. If you can't reach the knee, that's okay. Just do your best and what feels comfortable for you trying to keep the back straight. We're going to release that and do the same thing on our other side, extending the left side as we reach down. Again, the goal is to reach your head to your knee. It's okay if you can't quite reach your knee yet. Just breathe and as you exhale, bring yourself closer and closer to your knee. Release the leg, bringing the feet together in a cross position, putting both hands behind you. Lift up, giving your hips a stretch and breathe. And release down. We're come into hero with our knees close together, engaging our core with our gaze forward, lengthening the spine, remembering to focus on the breath. On your next inhale, lift your arms up for a seated upward salute. Take a deep breath in and lean to the back, giving your lower back a stretch and come back up to top. Inhale in and exhale to the right, giving you a side stretch. Inhale up and exhale to the left, giving your left side and then stretch too. We're gonna bring our hands down back to the mat and on our exhale, we're gonna push our arms forward, placing our palms down and walking our fingers forward. Relax your glutes and lengthen your spine as your shoulders and chest melt to the mat. Allow your forehead to rest in the mat if you can. Feel free to open your legs up if you need to, whatever feels good for you. Remember to breathe and release and come back up as we come into downward facing dog with our hands and knees, hip width apart, and our hips directly over our knees. Our shoulders and fingertips should be spread wide. Tuck the toes under and lift the hips to the sky so you're in a downward V position. Allow your head to hang heavy, unlike what I'm doing right now, looking up. You can also have a micro bend in your knee if that feels more comfortable. Remember to release the neck. And you can go ahead and pedal your feet if that feels good. Releasing tightness in your calves. We're gonna lower down into table and come into our cat cow. On inhale, drop your belly and arch your back as you gaze towards the ceiling. 
As you exhale, push away from the ground with your hands and round your spine for cat pose. Inhale, drop your belly. As you arch your back, lifting your tailbone and gaze up for cow. And exhale, rounding the spine, letting the crown of your head release towards the mat. And hold. Inhale, drop your belly for cow. Gazing upward. And exhale, last time for cat. Tuck your toes and lift your hips to the sky to enter downward facing dog. Remembering to straighten your legs and reach your heels towards the mat. Come into table and then lower your chest and chin until it meets the mat. You keep the palms of your hands directly underneath your shoulders and keep your hips lifted off the mat. Inhale and press your arms away from the mat to lift up your top torso off the ground. Open your chest upward and draw the shoulders away from the ears. Tuck the toes as you lift your hips to the sky to enter an upside down V position as you go into downward dog. Pedal the feet or your legs to give yourself some stretch. Again, and hold. Look up to the front of your mat and hop up to the top. Stretching up to the sky and down to heart center. Inhale up and forward fold as your hands meet the mat. You're going to step back on your right leg and come into a low lunge and hold there. Lift up through the chest. Relax your shoulders away from your ears and keep your spine long. Release both hands up to the sky for a high lunge. Rotate your right foot to a 45 degree angle and enter warrior one. Open your chest, shoulders press away from back from the ears and your back leg can have a slight micro bend if necessary. Release the right leg, bring the arms down to meet the mat and come into a plank position by moving your left leg to meet the right. Slowly lower your body down with Chaturanga and lift up for Cobra and hold, remembering to lengthen the lower back and press the top of the feet into the mat. Pelvis and thighs remain on the mat. Toes under as we lift our hips for downward dog. Hold and bring the right leg up for lower lunge on the right side. Keep the spine long and engage your knee, lifting the kneecap. Lift your chest. Inhale, lift your arms both up to the sky. You can gaze at your hands or straight ahead. Your shoulders should be pressed into the back, away from your ears, unlike how I have them here. Your back leg can be bent or straight as you draw your navel up and in. Release the arms down as they meet the, meet the floor or the mat and come into a plank position. Chaturanga down to the ground, belly meets the mat. Arms push up as we come into our up dog or cobra. Breathe, maybe extending the arms forward to give yourself a deeper stretch in the back. Whatever feels good to you in this moment. Remembering to press the feet towards the mat. Bring your arms back in and we'll lift up for up dog. Pedaling our feet just a little bit. And we're gonna look up between our hands and step our left foot in between them. As we release the arms up for warrior two. Arms should be parallel to the floor. Lift your left arm up overhead and bring your gaze up to the fingertips as you allow your right hand to slide down your back and place the hand into the back of your left thigh. Coming into Reverse Warrior. Come out of Reverse Warrior 
and allow your hands to meet the mat as you lower your body and release the left leg back to plank. Chaturanga down to the ground, cobra, and then down dog, and step your right leg up into a low lunge. Release your arms up for warrior two. Drop the left arm back and extend the right arm over or reverse warrior again. Release the arm down for warrior two. Swing your arms down, your hands meet the mat. Right leg steps back into plank. Chaturanga down to the ground. And come up for cobra. Reach your arms back, pushing the hips back. Extend the arms forward and come into child's pose. Allowing yourself to stretch, feeling it back in your hips. Come into table. Push the hips back as you extend into a V position for downward dog. Hop or step both of your feet up. Inhale the hands up towards the sky and then bring them down to heart center. Inhale up, exhale forward fold. Inhale half lift, exhale forward fold. Inhale the hands all the way up to the sky and then bring them back down to heart center. Inhale up and exhale forward fold. Inhale half lift and exhale and let your hands meet the mat. Step back on the right leg for a low lunge. Inhale and release the right hand up for an easy twist, engaging and twisting at the core, lifting your chest and pressing through the heel. And put your arm behind you for a deeper stretch if you like. Release the left arm and allow it to float up to get a stretch on the opposite side and bring the arm back down to meet the mat and bring the left leg back into a plank position. Chaturanga down to the ground and cobra or up dog. Down dog, pressing your heels into the mat and step up with your right leg for a low lunge, bringing your leg between your hands. Float up the left arm towards the sky for an easy stretch on this side. Again, you can give yourself a twist by putting your arm behind your back if you would like. You're going to release your left hand back down to the mat and extend your right arm up for a twist on the opposite side this time. Allow your hands to meet the mat. Your left leg will step back into plank, chaturanga down to the ground. Tummy meets the ground for cobra. Toes go under, hips push back for downward dog, pedaling the, pedaling the legs if you like. You're gonna hop or step both of your feet between your hands at the top of the mat and inhale up and exhale down into rag dog, allowing your body to hang. Maybe even swaying from side to side if that feels good to you. You might sway to the left, or sway to the right. Allowing gravity to pull your body. Inhale up, exhale, hands meet the mat. You're gonna step or hop back and come back into downward dog. Inhale and release the right leg up for three-legged dog. Exhale and bring the leg down, bend the knee to meet the space in between your hands or knees to chest. Inhale, back to three-legged dog. And exhale, bringing the legs down, engaging the core as the right knee touches the right elbow. Inhale, back into three-legged dog. Exhale and bring the knee down and take it across your body to the opposite side. Inhale, back up to three-legged dog. Exhale, extend the foot until it meets the mat between your hands. Straighten your front leg and come into a pyramid position, lengthening through the spine, squaring the hips, relaxing the head and neck. 
You can bring in your back leg some if you need to. Whatever feels comfortable for you so that you can have a straight back. Drop the left knee to the mat and straighten the front leg and come into a half split. Try to straighten and lengthen your back. Flex your front foot. Your back toes should be untucked and slowly fold over your front leg only as far as you can go with a straight back. Lean forward and bend the right knee and allow your thigh to meet the mat as you come into pigeon pose. I'm not the best example here, but your chest should be lifted, your hips should be squared, and the back leg should be straight with your toes untucked. To come out of the pose, tuck your toe under on your back leg and push up on your arms, extending the right leg back into three-legged dog. Then release it to the mat for down dog. Inhale as you lift your left leg up for three-legged dog and exhale as your knees come to your chest. Inhale up to three-legged dog. Exhale crossing your knee to the center. Inhale up to three-legged dog and exhale with your knee hitting your left elbow. Inhale three-legged dog and exhale as your left foot meets between your hands. You'll straighten out your front leg and come into a pyramid on our left side. Lengthen through the spine, square the hips, relax the head and neck, and bring your back leg in some if you need to, just like before. Hold this pose as you straighten your arms and breathe in and out. Lean forward and bend the left knee, keeping the back leg straight and allow your thigh to meet the mat as you come into pigeon pose on this side. Take a few breaths in and out as we open up the hips. When you're ready, again, tuck your toes under on the back leg, push up on your arms, extending the right leg back into three-legged dog, and then release the feet down to the mat for downward dog. Chaturanga, down to the ground, belly meeting the mat, and cobra, extending the arms. Inhale and put your arms behind you while you lift your legs off the ground for lotus pose. Remember to keep your hips on the mat, engage in the glutes, and pull the shoulders away from the ears. Slowly release yourself back to the mat as you exhale. Inhale into lotus again as we engage our core and our glutes. And exhale back down. Curl the toes under and push up for downward dog. Put on the legs if you want. Inhale the right leg up for three legged dog. Exhale the right leg between the hands. Inhale and come up for warrior two, releasing the hands from the ground. Release the right arm up and the left arm drops to the thigh for reverse warrior. Inhale back to warrior two. Exhale, release the right arm down to meet the mat. Straighten the front leg into triangle pose, keeping the pelvis and torso square. Extend the left hand up to the sky with the palm facing away and release the right leg bending the knee. Place the right arm under the right leg and wrap it around, shift your body weight to the front as you release the back leg and allow yourself to take flight for flying lizard. If flying lizard is not in your practice, you can do lizard pose instead by staying in a low lunge and placing both of your hands to the right of your foot, keeping them parallel and your back as straight as possible. The next thing I'm gonna do is flying splits. But again, if this is not in your practice, continue to do lizard. To our flying spits by placing our right leg over our right shoulder and leaning forward as we balance on our forearms and release the left leg into the air and release <clears throat> and come down into a tabletop position 
and then get into downward dog. Release the left leg into the air and the left foot will meet between your hands. Release both arms up and back as we come into reverse warrior position. Float the arms back down to the mat as we come into lizard or if you're gonna fly, go ahead and do the flying lizard on the left side. Wrap your leg over and around your left shoulder, leaning forward and shifting your weight as your foot floats, um, your right foot floats into the air. This is clearly a rough side for me. Release and then come into flying splits, or attempt on the left side. And when you're ready, go ahead and extend your arms and drop your hips for a child's pose. You're gonna get up and come to the top of your mat. Start our heart center. Inhale up and exhale forward fold. Inhale up into chair pose. Remembering to feel it in our legs. Exhale and our hands are gonna meet the mat. And right leg steps back into low lunge. Left leg meets the right leg for plank and push the hips back for downward dog. Step forward with your right foot in between your hands and then step forward with your left and let that meet the right at the top of your mat. Inhale up for chair pose and hold. I'm gonna exhale and forward fold and step back into the mat with your right leg. Inhale your arms up and change the back foot to an angle for warrior two. Drop the right arm as the left arm float up for reverse warrior. Float both arms to the ground, coming into a plank position, and then chaturanga down to the floor. Belly meets the mat, and you're gonna push up with your arms into cobra, and then down dog. Float your right leg up, your right foot meets between your hands. Your arms float up, and your left foot will now turn at an angle for warrior two. Drop the hand and move over for reverse warrior. And then release, going back to warrior two. As your hands meet the mat, your foot step back to plank and chaturanga down to the ground. Cobra or up dog. Call your toes for down dog and release to a plank. We're gonna do some shoulder taps. Just some arm strengthening that I like to do sometimes. So just take one arm and tap it on your shoulder and go back and forth just a few times. Try to run that back down to the floor and lift the arms for downward dog. Lift the leg, left leg up, float up for three-legged dog. And bend the knee for a hip opener variation. Lower the lifted leg to the ground as we come in to wild thing. Lifting the left hand off the mat, stretching far behind you, chest opening up, pelvis lifting up. Come into side plank and hold, extending the left hand back to the mat, coming down into three-legged dog, lower the left leg back to the ground and allow the left foot to return to the mat into down dog. Release the right leg up in the air for three-legged dog and bend that right knee, allowing the foot to drop behind you for your three-legged dog hip opener. Allow the foot to drop as you do your wild thing on this side. Plant your palm directly under you and expand the chest forward. Release the palm as you come into side plank and bring the right hand back down to the mat to release the leg up to three-legged dog. Allow the leg to meet the mat. Walk the legs out and then step or hop forward and inhale up. Exhale into a wide chair. We're gonna come to our center and we do our garland pose. Come down into garland, letting your feet touch the ground. When you're ready, we're gonna start in child's pose and transition and then go ahead and get into our half lord of the fishes pose 
So rotate your left thigh, drop your left knee to the floor and tuck your left foot under your leg and go ahead and cross your right leg over. On an inhale, raise your arm overhead and reach for the sky and lengthen your spine as you exhale and twist your torso. Hook your left elbow outside your right knee and keep your forearm raised. When you're ready, you can come out of the position and do it on the other side. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Go ahead and bend your right knee, letting the left knee go over. On your inhale, raise your right arm overhead and reach for the sky. And then you'll lengthen your spine as you exhale and twist. We're doing the same thing here, just with straight legs. So the left leg is straight with the right leg crossed over. And then the right leg is straight with the left leg crossed over. Bend your knees and bring your feet towards your body, bringing the soles of your feet to touch. Hold the tops of your feet with your hands and inhale as you lengthen up the base of your spine and lift through your chest. Exhale as you hinge your hips and forward fold a little bit closer to your feet. Turn to the side and extend both of your knees to the left. Legs should be straight out in front of you on the mat. Fleet flex, flex posture upright. Extend the arms over, shoulder width apart, and lengthen the spine upward for a seated straight forward fold. On the exhale, hinge the hips forward, folding over your legs with a straight spine. Lay flat on your back with your arms flat on the ground beside you. And on inhale, use your core to lift up your legs and lower your torso up into the air, bending at the elbows to bring your palms back. Flex your feet as you lower them behind your head, tucking the legs straight so that your toes touch the ground. Keep your chin slightly tucked. When you're ready, release your arms and lift the kneecaps. And you can go ahead and come up to our boat pose. <laughs> Let me see you back, I guess. Coming into boat pose. Engaging the core, lifting the legs. You can flex or point the feet. Here I have them flexed. And you can lower back. on down to your mat. Lift up the left leg and bring it to the chest and hug it. You should feel it in your hips and some of your lower back and allow it to go over your body for a nice lower back stretch here. Don't forget to breathe. Release the left leg back, tucking it in and putting it back down on the mat. You're going to bring up your right leg now and tuck it into your body. Again, feeling the stretch in your hips and then your lower back. When you're ready, gently pull your right leg over the left side of your body while straightening your arms giving your lower back a stretch. You want to look the opposite way of where the bended leg went to get the full effect of this stretch. Release the leg, come back, and bring both of the knees into chest, hugging tightly, giving yourself a little love. Allow both of the legs to fall to the side as you bound the eagle and lay back. We're going to come back up and get onto table. And we're going to do some bird dog crunch as you prepare 
for our Shavasanas. Extend the left arm and right leg and clench them in and repeat. Taking your time on the movements. Left arm, right leg out. Inhale out, exhale in, inhale out, exhale in. Inhale out and exhale in. One more time. Good job. Fire hydrant with a kick just to get our hips feeling good. We've done a few things with the hips today, but not too many. So just lift up that right leg like you're a dog peeing on a fire hydrant. This feels amazing in the hips, you guys. You inhale, lift the leg up, and exhale, you push it back. It's one of my favorite things to do. Doing the right side again, go ahead, inhale up, hold, and exhale and kick back. Inhale up, and exhale and kick back. Shoot for five times. I think I did three. Inhale up, and exhale back on the left side. Just getting those hips to just feel loose and it's better. Drop the hips back into child's pose. As we prepare our bodies to rest and to take in everything that we've done. If there's anything that you need to do at this moment before we go into Shavasana, this is your time. Any last minute stretches you might want to do, maybe your back, maybe your neck, might be your arms. I thank you guys for coming and staying with me today. Go ahead and roll those shoulders out a little bit and let's get into our Shavasana. You're gonna lay back, bring your arms down to the side. Your palms are facing up, shoulders are relaxed and away from the ears. Take a few deep breaths in and some very long breaths out. Inhale through the mouth a couple of times. As you're aligned here, notice your breath moving in and out of your body. Let your breath flow as a natural cycle. Don't try to control it or send it towards any specific part of your body. Just be aware of how it naturally occurs. With each breath, experience a sense of expansion and openness within the body. And with each exhale, a feeling of relaxation and peacefulness. Every time you exhale, let go of any tension in your muscles. Every time you exhale, see if you can let go of the weight in your arms, your legs, your head, and your whole body allowing yourself to fully trust the surface you are laying on. You are in a safe space, lying here, you cannot fall. Nothing bad can happen. It's time to completely let go of any tension in your body. As you inhale, joy, exhale, and allow yourself to melt a little bit down further deep into your mat and into the earth until you completely let go. Allowing your body to be just as it is and allowing yourself to be just as you are, you are whole and complete and perfect, breathing and alive. Notice your breath as it comes in and goes out of the body, knowing you are breathing allowing yourself to be embraced by your own breath. 
Stay in this state for a few minutes, allowing the body to feel the effects and the benefits of your practice today. Maybe even roll into your favorite side if you don't want to sit all the way up. And this concludes our practice today. I thank you for your time, your commitment, and your energy. Namaste. Namaste.